You may continue working on the current project, or you can open the to pavilion.pln archicad file from the training project folder. Let's place the partition walls to create the rooms of the building. Select the wall tool from the toolbox. Double click on wall 200 from the favorites palette. Set the geometry method to rectangular. Enter the construction method to inside face in the info box. The corner of the new wall will be 10,500 mm from the left edge of the slab and 3,400 mm from the bottom of the slab. Move the cursor to the bottom left corner of the slab. Type X 10,500 plus and the cursor jumps by 10,500 mm to the right. Type Y 3,400 plus and the cursor immediately snaps upwards. Press Enter and move the cursor toward the upper right. Define the size of the rectangular wall. Press X and enter 7,600 mm for its value. Then press Y and enter 3,600 mm. Finally, press Enter to create the walls. Please note that these new walls are grouped by default. You have to edit these walls separately. The solution is to temporarily suspend groups by choosing the Suspend Group Toggle icon in the standard toolbar. You can also use the Edit, Grouping, Suspend Groups command to achieve the same result. Activate the arrow tool from the toolbox and select the upper horizontal wall. Click on the upper side of the wall and drag it downwards. Hold down the Shift key to constrain mouse movement vertically. Let's define the distance of the offset. Press R and then enter 800. Finally, press Enter to complete the operation. Do the same with the other horizontal wall. Double-click on Wall 100 in the Favorites palette. Choose Single Geometry Method and Center Construction Method in the Info box. New walls will be created so that the reference line is in the middle of the wall. Create the new walls so that they divide the existing horizontal wall into three equal segments. Let's set the special snap points to display divisions along elements. Select View, Special Snap Options, Division 3 from the menu bar. Draw two walls. The cursor will show you the trisecting points. As for the final step, we need to erase the middle part of the bottom horizontal wall. Hold down the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac and the cursor changes to scissors. Click on the middle part of the wall to erase it. Now we'll create doors in the partition walls. Activate the Door tool in the toolbox and select the internal door from the Favorites palette. Set the anchor point to side 1 in the info box. The anchor point setting defines whether you place the door by its center point or its side. You have to place the door 100 millimeters from the bottom left corner of the wall. Move the cursor to the bottom left corner and type X100 plus. Press Enter. To place the door, click at the desired opening in swing direction.
Let's create mirrored copies of the door. To be able to mirror the door, first you'll have to set the view, special snap options, back to half. Select the door with the arrow tool. Activate the edit, move, mirror a copy command. Move the cursor near the middle of the upper wall and click when the cursor snaps to the special snap point at the middle of the wall.